welcome everyone to our one another demo on which we are going to see that how exactly we can do the installation of docker on the windows platform specifically on windows 10 now docker is something which is available for most of the operating systems different different platforms so it supports both the unix and the windows platform as such so um linux through various commands we can do the installation but in the case of windows you have to download the exe file and a particular installer from the docker hub websites you can simply google it and you know will get a kind of link from where you will be able to download the package so let's go to the chrome and uh, try to search on for the windows 10 uh, particular installer you will get a link from docker hub you download it you get the stable version you get the edge version whichever version you want you wish to download you can download it so let's go back to the chrome so here you have the docker desktop for windows so you can go for the stable or you can go for the edge right so you also have the comparison that what is the difference between these two versions right so um the particular edge version is something which is getting releases every month and uh, the um, stable version is getting the releases every quarter so they are not doing much of the changes to the stable version as compared to the edge there so you just have to double click on the installer and that will help you to do the installation of the process so let's get started so you just click on the get in stable version so when you do that the uh, particular installer is going to install now it's going to take like around 300 MB there so that's the kind of installer which is available so uh, once the installer is downloaded so what you can do is that you can actually go ahead and you can uh, proceed with the doing the double click on this installer when you double click on that you have to proceed with some of the steps like you know from the GUI itself you are going to proceed with these steps so we'll wait for 10 to 20 seconds more and then the installer will be done and then we can do the double click and the installation will proceed so another thing is that uh, there is a huge difference between the installer like for example in case of unix the installer is a little bit less but in case of windows it's a gui is also involved and there are a lot of binaries which is available there so that's the reason why you know the huge size is there now it's available for free that's for sure and it also requires the windows 10 professional or enterprise 64 bit there so um if you are working on some previous uh, version of operating systems like windows 7 and all you have the older version called docker toolbox so they used to call it as like docker toolbox earlier but now they are calling it as a docker desktop with the new docker uh, windows 10 support as such here so another couple of seconds and then the installer will be done and then we will be able to proceed with the installation so let's see that how much progress is there to the download so we'll click on the downloads and here still we have some particular installations or some download going on so we'll wait for some time and uh, once the installation is done then we'll go back and uh, we'll proceed with installation so couple of seconds so it's almost done so i'll just click on this one you can go to the directory to the downloads and you can double click on that also but if you want to do the installation you can click on this one also and it will ask for the approval yes or no you have to provide now once that is done so um, a desktop a kind of a GUI component will open there so it will start proceeding with the installation so it's asking whether you want to add a desktop the shortcut to desktop so you can say okay I'm going to click on okay so it will unpack the files all the files uh, which is required for docker to successfully install that is getting unpacked over here so it will take some time to do the installation because it's doing a lot of uh, work here so you can just wait for till the execution of the installer to be completed and once the installer is done you can open your command line and start working on the docker so taking some time to extract the files Now it's asking us to you know do the close and uh, do the restart so once that is done you will be able to proceed further and you can just you know run the command line and uh, any docker command if you can run so that will give you the response whether the docker is installed or not so you can see here that docker is you know something which is installed so you can run like docker version you will be able to get a version of the client when you do the restart of the machine then at that moment of time the docker server will also be started and then this particular error message will go off right now the docker daemon is not up and running because the installation requires a restart and when you close on this one and go for the restart the machine will be restarted here so this is the way that how exactly we can go for a docker installation and we can go on that part so that's it for this demo. I hope you got the idea about it, how to install the Docker onto the Windows platform. Thanks everyone. 
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.